Hello, I'm David Jones from CCC Agronomy and I'm um, trying to crawl under a bean crop at the moment to show you something quite interesting that um, is quite common in bean crops this year. The PGRO changed their guidance um, after about three years of work in the OptiBean project to increase seed rates. Um, they believe that with more modern, newer varieties you've got to be more like sort of 55, 60 plus seeds possibly um, rather than the old 40 to 45 seeds for varieties like Fuego, Fanfare, Vertigo. Anyway, what we're seeing and what's interesting here is the level of pods in the canopy. And on, on face value, one would imagine that the benefit of the, of the yield that they're seeing from higher seed rates is more plants per metre squared. But actually, if you count the number of pods, um, they're probably slightly above average this year, but, but not by much. And even in thinner crops, the number of pods is actually very, very good. So I think what it probably shows more is that the yield is, is quite possibly coming from the pods being higher up the canopy because there's an etoliation effect where the plant grows taller with intercompetition between the other plants. Um, and as a result, everything's shifted upwards, leaves, flowering point structures on the plant. Uh, and it's clearly, when you look at previous years, in this crop, which was drilled at about 60 seeds, it is a, you've got the canopy up to my shoulders before you've got any beans. Um, and I'm counting around sort of roughly on average nine pods per plant. So um, well, what's interesting too this year is that with the thicker canopies and the very wet June, uh, the chocolate spot has obviously gone bananas. So it will be very interesting to see in some of the trials I've got whether that does in fact translate to final yield or whether we've just created a thicker microclimate canopy that ends up with a lot more disease that's harder to manage and costs more. So anyway, we'll find out very soon. And um, yeah, that is um, one of the lessons of this year's um, OptiBean and PGRO work anyway.